You have this brilliant class that I've been just talking about nonstop, story-driven illustrations with Jamila Kanoff on schoolism. I wanted to talk about lesson six. I want you to kind of elaborate on this. Lesson six, one of the main things about lesson six is killing your darlings. Can you expand on this a bit? Yeah, it's all about, you know, when you have an idea and you go with it and then you notice that something is just not quite right. And you're like, okay, I tried to change, you know, a little thing. I tried to change the face and I tried to change uh, the colors or whatever. But sometimes you just come to a point where you have to recognize that you just have to scrap everything or revise like a huge portion of the drawing that you've already done. And when you're drawing big illustrations, that can be kind of frustrating, but I want people to really get comfortable with that idea because that happens. Um, and before you invest even more time to try to, you know, bring this thing to finish that is just not sitting right with you, it's often a better idea to just go back and uh, approach it from a different angle and redo it. And I think, yeah, you just got to be brave enough to admit that something is not working and to try to analyze what's not working and to, uh, you know, try it again. And one of the tough questions that I don't know what the answer is, maybe you do, but it's like, how do you know when to abandon your idea or to keep trying to work on it, fix it, change it, you know, massage it? Because sometimes that works. And sometimes mm -hmm. abandoning it works. Yeah. For me, it's like when I've tried three different ways to make it work and it just won't, won't happen, I just have to admit that maybe I have to, you know, like change it. I've had this idea where I wanted to draw a person and they had like a lighting on them and it was making like a pattern. But every time I did it, it just looked so weird. It was not at all how I, how I had imagined it. So I was like, okay, no, no, this is just not working. Or I had this, there was this photograph um, of like models and they had like this colorful dust on them and I thought it, would, it looked pretty cool and magical. But then when I tried to do it, it was just like I was painting the characters and when the characters were done, I was trying to put the dust on them. And I was like, no, oh, no, no, this is not at all how I imagined it. It just looks very, very strange. So I should have uh, tried that out in the beginning, um, you know, what I like to do is before I commit to a huge illustration is um, in the sketch phase and when I put down some colors, just try to bring it to as much of a finished look as I can when you see the little thumbnail. You know, you want to zoom out and be able to kind of tell what the image is going to be like. And if that's working, it's a good idea to keep going. But if you can't make it work at this stage and you always got to think that, okay, more details are going to fix it, more rendering are going to fix it, that just never happens, you know? So um, I think it's a pretty good idea to just work it out uh, before you commit to it too much and really try to uh, put it into action the way you had imagined it. And if that's not working, try a different, different way. And if that's not working as well, just try a different idea. <laughs> Now, I have kind of like my own little theory. It isn't killing your darlings. It's almost like the exact opposite of that. Before killing your darlings, have multiple babies. <laughs> that's, that's like my own kind of thing is like, even when you have the first baby and you're like, oh, my baby is the most beautiful baby in the world. This is the <laughs> most perfect baby. What I say is like, have another one, right? Make a few. Yeah. Yes. So you kind of do the same thing, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Well, I hope everybody can uh, adopt this one because I found this one to be very helpful. Even if you sketched out your very first sketch and it's awesome, this is what you're going to go with, don't yet. Have a few more babies and then, yeah. and then kill your darlings. <laughs> Get your strongest one and take that to finish. Love it. And of course, if anybody wants to know more about how Jamila thinks about illustrations, creates her illustrations, especially story-driven illustrations, go take her course on schoolism.com. Story-driven illustrations with Jamila Kanoff. Thank you very much. That was awesome.